Hello everyone, it's Joe Neely. I'm quite casual today. I'm really working hard on the inside of myself, and I hope you are too. I'm really working on deciding in every moment, deciding, hey, what I really want most right now is to feel good taking charge of, our, of my emotions and because the emotions are the gateway to so much more it's really important to <laughs> ah, really really manage thoughts and emotions you know when you find yourself heading towards worry I read today that worry is a waste of imagination I think that's very true um, it's certainly very, very true that we are creating all kinds of things in every moment that we don't intend to create, and that in order to have the lives we want to have, we need to stay with the imagination of wonderful things that we could have, and always be aware that, oh, I could have something even better than this. I can create something even better than I can imagine. You know, we can conceive of the idea <laughs> of having something better than we could imagine. And that's what I'm talking about. That's allowing the deepest subconscious parts of myself to create even better adventures than, you know, what I... What I could have so far, what I could have with my conscious mind wouldn't be nearly as good as, you know, what the full me, you know, not just the conscious me, but the full me, what that entity can create is something so much more. So I'm really starting to trust my subconscious and watching my mind, I'm really trying to watch when I get out of that freedom or that creativity place. And when I linger into places I should not let me go, as they say, um, yeah, really try to do that internal work of always being excited and ready for adventure, feeling the adventure before it happens. Uh, as you can see, I'm squinting a bit here. That's a sign that I'm holding back tears that what I'm saying really means a lot to me and I hope it does to you as well. So please, practice. Work with your feelings, even if it makes you squint over and over again or cry or whatever it is. But work with those feelings because there's a reason we kind of are chaotic or ADHD or reason that we create the same thing we created yesterday or something kind of scattered that never really leads anywhere. There's reasons that we don't follow our true path, and those are emotional reasons. Here it is again, a little more squinting. I'm really doing a lot of work right now, as I said, emotionally allowing things to come up, forgiving myself. I don't need a deity to forgive me. I can just forgive myself. And, you know letting go of the past, letting go of regrets, because all that stuff is in us, and it messes up the lives that we can create otherwise. <laughs> so keep squinting, keep processing emotion, keep reaching out, keep talking, but do that internal work of really feeling your way into this amazing adventure. Oh my gosh, there's the best thing I can imagine and what's really going to happen is even better than that. And then watch the fear, watch the emotion come up. You can see it happening, right? Um, watch the emotion starting to come up when you set yourself free like that. You'll probably start to feel fearful because when you were small and you behaved with freedom, people would hurt you and so you learned not to do it. And now you're a grown-up. And you can set yourself free. Heck, if you're not a grown-up and you're watching this, please don't let them screw you up. 
<laughs> Don't become a grown-up trying to fix yourself later in life. Just be yourself now. Uh, but for the rest of us, yeah, it's about accepting the past, accepting emotions, accepting what comes up, accepting sadness and fear that comes up when you behave like a free person, when you trust yourself, when you know that you're headed in the right direction, when you believe things before you can see them. That type of faith in yourself is tied to fear. It's the opposite of fear. And do the internal work, like I'm saying. See yourself living out the greatest adventure you can imagine, and one even greater than the one you can imagine. If you're like me, it'll probably bring up some stuff for you, and that's a really good process so that you can transcend yourself. You have to be more than yourself, release yourself, be more than the self you let yourself be in order to have that life that's better than anything you can imagine. So that's it. I'll keep practicing this stuff all day, but I won't talk your ear off for that long. Just wanted to say hi, and I'll be in touch with you guys tomorrow.